B Posse. It's your girl Deja. I'm back with the I'm back with another video. Yo, what is wrong with me? I'm recording my freaking intro like I just saw this shit. But anyways, how are you guys doing today? Did you guys miss me? Today we are we why can't I talk? Today we are filming a mukbang and on the menu today we have some lamb chops that I cook with some onions and mushrooms and garlic that I seasoned to perfection. I got some mashed potatoes, I got some cucumbers that are just here for um decoration. I actually put some gravy on this. I never made gravy before until today. So <laughs> I don't know, but yeah, this shit looks so good. It's giving um Cheesecake Factory vibes. But alright, let's just dig in. How many of you guys like lamb chops? Let's dip it with the Ooh. Take that bite. I'm hungry, y'all. Mm. If you guys are interested in a cold water bottle, use my coupon code PUNKY. That's P-U-N-K-Y from the corner of that checkout. And yeah. Mmm. 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 Man, she was wilding today. What's time is it? Three? What? Yeah. Usually I start recording a little bit earlier. But he was like, Mommy, if you put me down, you was not eating. And I was just having to hold it down. But, yeah. I, I, I uploaded my video a little earlier today. Just to see how it's going to go. And you guys like it to be earlier. But. I think I'm going to just keep it to 4 o'clock. I just wanted to see. Oh, so if you guys um don't have your notification bells on. Make sure you guys do that. And set it to all. So you guys can get notified every time I um upload a video go live mm -mm -mm. Mm. I love a good lamb chop mm. I love a good lamb chop I got introduced to lamb so early my mom used to make it all the time. And I remember when I was young, I used to be like, I like lamb, mommy. I used to be so mad when she used to cook it. <laughs> and then one time I tried it, and it was actually really good. I know, um, yeah. It's a lot of stuff that I try eventually. I'm not trying anything at least one time. So I try everything, like chitlins. I don't think my mom like chitlins, but I did try it one time. Um, mm, I don't really like chitlins though. I only had it once, but I feel like chitlins is not something that you could let get cold. Like you can't reheat it. Like when I had it, it was straight out the pot on Thanksgiving and it was fresh but I know I tried to take some home <laughs> like a Thanksgiving plate no I couldn't do it I could not do it I just couldn't this is probably gonna be a short video too because I don't really have nothing to talk about I should have recorded um the cooking portion. 
but I cooked this shit so fast. It's hard to record the cooking portions of my videos because I prep everything in advance so I could cook in like a good time. A, a good time manner. So like, you know, cause y'all know I'm on a time schedule when it comes to majesty. His naps be like a good 30, 40 minutes. So while I'm throwing my food in the pot, I'm legit setting up. Like <laughs> at the same time, I'm trying to cook my food. Cause you know, like with steak and lamb and stuff like that, you don't want to overcook it. It's going to be dry and tough. But, um, mm. so, I have yet to order any food while I have majesty. Mm. That's probably something I have to think about doing, like. How would I even do that? Because I want my food fresh. Like, as soon as it comes from Uber Eats. I'm going to lie. The mushrooms in the gravy is so good. And give me steak Diane vibes. If you know, you know. Steak Diane slaps. From Cheesecake Factory. And this is just a lamb version. Mmm. Um, yeah, I don't have no topic today. I'm sorry, y'all. I'm so sorry. I've been slacking with the topics. I be having shit going on. <laughs> I really, yo. So when it's time for me to record or eat, that's all I want to do. I have like a list of topics I could talk about, but if I don't touch it before I record them, I'm not doing it. Oh shit, that's my baby daddy. <laughs> oh shit. Recording with Bert in the house is so annoying. It's so annoying. Like, and it's not even like, it's just awkward too, like, <laughs> like I don't like I'm not a shy person, and I'm like comfortable around him, but like I feel like when I'm by myself, like, and I'm like sitting in a room by myself, talking is way better because I don't feel like, like, you know, I don't think about like what I'm saying or anything because like fuck it. So yeah, that's just that. I don't have nothing to talk about, y'all. I'm so sorry. But y'all can comment down below something, some topics or something. And so yeah, y'all. That's that. I'm full. This was good. Ooh. Yo. But yeah. I'm not a shy person. It just I feel like when it comes to YouTube or like like even like making TikToks and stuff like that, I have to be by myself. Like I can't it's just I don't know. Unless you end the video with me, but if you're not, like, it's just so awkward. Even when I was living at home with my brother. It wouldn't be awkward if he was in the room with me. But for him to hear me talking on camera was so awkward. Like, it was just so awkward. Like, yeah. Like, even, like, when I vlog, like, say, for instance, I'm vlogging and a stranger sees me, so awkward. But now, if I'm talking to a stranger in a vlog, it's not that awkward. I don't know why. I don't know why. I gotta figure that out. But, yeah. 
package. I got a package. I want to open up um, the P.O. Box unboxing. A lot of you guys were saying, um, asking me to do um, a P.O. Box unboxing for the baby stuff. But y'all, when I tell you, we had so much stuff. One, thankfully, I appreciate y'all. But um, not everything came at one time. So we was opening stuff up already. initial reaction all right so iconic sense designer quality no mark mock-ups okay so anyways so remember a while back when i was vlogging and i had um i think it was the vlog with the um when majesty had a doctor's appointment and i told you how i had a perfume on that i think was like stinking <laughs> like it wasn't stinking so basically all right it, i don't i didn't like the scent I ain't even gonna hold y'all. Period. I do not come on here. I don't sugarcoat nothing. I don't fake anything. And it's this company that I've been um, wanting to work with me. And um, basically, they do. So the brand name is Dosia. Right? So this is what the packaging looks like. Super cute. The brand name is Dosia. Now, I had. Um, and basically, they um, are a perfume company. And they are a perfume company. And <laughs> why is my words not coming out right? And basically, the most expensive perfume that you could buy, like Baccarat, Baccarat Rouge, and um, Tom Ford. You guys know that those perfumes, like Tom Ford perfume is, what, $340? Um, the Baccarat Rouge, is, they have mad expensive perfumes on their website. Go check it out. But I did get the... the um, the Black Garage Rouge. Only because everybody said that they liked the way that one set, smelled. So I got that. And for some reason, but on my skin. I'm not saying that this is what it's going to smell like on your skin. So if you have that and you want to test it out, go ahead. But on my skin, it started smelling like, um, what can I say? <laughs> like, like, Sharpie. Like brand new sneakers like that's what it smelled like so the company reached out to me and was like hey like how's it going with your perfume and i'm just like to be honest i can't really recommend anything if i didn't like the way it smelled so they was they were so nice to let me get another scent which is this one and basically it comes like this i got the scent i got is oriental cherry and the notes is cherry almond cinnamon and the middle notes is cloves, rose, jasmine, and plum. And the base notes is Peru, balsam, tonka bean, and vanilla. And this is supposed to be inspired by Tom Ford's Lost Cherry. I, I see this all old. I was thinking about buying a regular um, bitter peach from Tom Ford and uh, Lost Cherry anyway. So I was like, oh, shoot, like, let me see if they got this. And they did. And it says, thank you. Our mission is to deliver the highest quality quality luxury inspired fragrances at a fair price giving you the freedom to explore new scents okay and it says how it works any scent you order comes with a sample i got the sample this is so perfect because if you don't like the um if you don't like the scent you can always just send it back but you could keep the sample so check that out right any scent, any scent you order comes with a sample that you can test before opening a full size 50 milliliter bottle. And this is what it looks like. The packaging is super sleek. It's not nothing um crazy, but it's like, come on, this is nice to have on your vanity. I like the packaging. I like everything. Like everything was just fire. But that scent, when you wear it throughout the day, it started smell. It made me smell like brand new sneaker. And I don't like that. And I don't know what the real um, Block of Rock Blue smelled like. So, I can't even really tell you if that's what the regular one smells like. But, no. Anyways, 
don't like the sample, just return the package with the 50 milliliter bottle and you, you will get a full refund. Returns are free, no questions asked. So this is what it looks like. Let's smell it. Ooh. Mmm. This is not ooh, ooh. This is nice. Hold on. Now, me, I'm someone who don't really like um what do you call it? I don't like um like fruity or like childish scents. It smells so like cherry though, but it's not like a it's not like a fake cherry. It's like the real cherry, like you know the dark cherry with the seeds on the side. That's what it smells like. If you get what I'm saying, ah, oh, it smells so good. Okay. It's like I smell the almond. Oh, see? Wow. So the top notes is cherry, almond, and cinnamon. It smells just like that. It's like subtle. And these do last on the skin for a long time. <laughs> That's how I knew the last one had me smelling like brand new sneaker. But this smells really good. And I was smelling like brand new sneaker for the whole day. I'm like, and you know what's crazy? I'm like, what is that scent the whole time? Like, I was freaking wearing the perfume. I'm like, what is that scent? I was going crazy. I thought it was maybe my leather jacket that I had on. It was crazy. But this, this one was really nice. I smell the cherry. It's like a mature cherry. It is sweet, but it's not like, you know how like cinnamon is sweet, but it's not like silly sweet. You get what I'm saying? Y'all get what I'm saying? This is really nice. Let me put some more. Put it in the back of my neck. So it won't affect majesty. And that's it, y'all. I love a good sample, too. This one's really nice. But yeah, that's really it. I'm about to get up out of here. Check out Dossier. I know there's other brands out there that do the same thing, but this, the customer service with this brand is fire. And to be honest, I wouldn't recommend anything that I don't like truly believe is like a good brand. One, I don't work with brands that I don't think is good. And also if it was a whack product and the shipping is extra fast and the lost cherry, the oriental cherry smell fire. This smells really good. I have nothing like this. It's so mature, I love it. But um, yeah, I don't I don't recommend I don't remember that it was something with Amber, something like that, and I did not like it. So I don't recommend the one that's the um inspired by Black Wash Rules because I just don't like it. But and that's one of the top rated um scents. So maybe it's just me. To each his own everybody's different, but I didn't like it. But this one smells so good. And I'm so happy they let me um freaking change it because like come on now and it, I, I didn't even send another one back no she no shade but i didn't i was i don't mean, yeah but i love i love working with a brand that has great customer service they don't nag me they don't with certain brands when they do too much it's just like a red flag like we're working so, with some brands like it's a lot of people that i turn down just because they nag me a lot and i just feel like why are you nagging me but they customer service is fire. You, I'm pretty sure you guys can ask some questions. If you don't like it, you can send it back and just switch it up, keep the sample. This one's so good. All right, I'm gonna have everything linked down in the description box below. Now, I, now I can put y'all on. Cause before I'm like, now y'all out here smell like brand new sneakers cause of me. And now y'all writing me like, girl, you know this shit smell like Sharpie. But this smells so good. So good. Wow. All right. That's really it. Thank you guys so much for watching this video. 
please give the video a thumbs up if you guys like mukbangs comment down below what other videos you guys want to see from me subscribe to my channel hit that notification bell so you guys can be notified every time i do post i do post daily uploads at 4 p.m eastern time and yeah thank you guys so much for watching and have a nice day